When I get into a Porsche, it's a cockpit. You are planted in there and you're ready for lunch. This road right here is the reason why we chose the Black Hills of South Dakota to do the 2015 Escape. These Porsches really love these twisty, curvy roads. This has been two years in the making and it's finally reality and this is what us as enthusiasts dream of. Right out of high school, I went to work for a Porsche dealership. And shortly after I started working there, the Porsche 944 was introduced and I fell in love with it. So that's how I started with Porsche in 1982. It's my life. Welcome. How are you guys doing? doing good. good. PCA's national slogan is, it's not just the cars, it's the people. And that's what this weekend's all about. How are you guys doing? Hey, we're doing well. How are you? Good, I'm Ron. It's called Ron. The Escape. And these are done once a year in different cities across the country. And this year, we're here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. This was on our bucket list to do. We're doing guided tours and drives around the Black Hills. And there's just phenomenal roads everywhere you go here. These cars live for the turns. <laughs> We also have a car show with everybody that's participating in this event. We're celebrating 60 years of Porsche Club in the United States, and we feel very fortunate to have this event here. I'm Lloyd Nelson. This is my lovely wife, Donna. We're from Valley City, North Dakota. We came down here driving our 1955 Porsche Speedster, and how long did it take us, honey? About eight hours. Well, when I was working on the railroad in Mandan in 1964, I happened to pass Courtesy Motors. They had two Porsches there. They had this 1955 Speedster and they had a 1951 Coupe. They said they'd sell them both to me for $750. Was very excited and I brought them home and my wife was very, very thrilled. We had two children, one on the way. We were both working and I really didn't see the sense in two old cars. I said, one of them has to go. At what time he said, Which one of the kids? <laughs> the coupe left. The Porsche caught my eye because it not only had the convertible top, but it was just really, really a sharp looking little car. And I thought, this is something I've got to have. Porsche has a rich heritage of being a driver's car. It's a different driving experience. You have to accelerate through corners. You can't neutral or you're in trouble. It's fun. Once you get through Keystone, you start going up the hill to Mount Rushmore. Where else can you go and have elevation changes, curvy roads, national monuments, beautiful scenery? It's Nirvana. They better not be racing today with wet roads. <laughs> We definitely won't. Rainy day in a Porsche is still a day in a Porsche. You can see Mount Rushmore right there. We're on Needle Highway, and I totally understand it now because we're threading the needle. One lane tunnel. Holy cow, look at this. Wow. Elevation changes, 15 mile an hour uh, U-turns, just through beautiful terrain, one lane roads. It just doesn't get any better than that. Welcome to the Escape to Rushmore Car Show. And we do have a People's Choice Award. There's your ballot for voting. And you guys are gonna go to staging four. We'll be announcing who wins in our final dinner on Saturday night. The car is a 1970 Porsche 911 E. This is a 1966, 1598cc. I'm original owner. This car has original paint and chrome on it. It's a 1954 Porsche Coupe, 60 horsepower. It has a 1720cc big bore kit in it. According to the PCA magazine, they only made 815 of them in Germany. We all enjoy seeing one another's cars. 
We all enjoy asking about our experience with the car. We drive it. Every now and then it'll get a little ding in it, you know, a little rock hit here and, and so forth. But we want to enjoy the car. A car is no good if it sits in your garage or if it sits in a show place. And that's why when we're around and people want to take pictures of the car and so forth, I want them in the car. Have we had a successful weekend or what? There were 285 cars that registered for escape. This is phenomenal. Uh, let's move on to the incredible car show that we saw the other night. Some beautiful specimens, but let's find out who the winners were. And the overall winner, the People's Choice Best of Show, if you will. Congratulations, all the way from North Dakota. In a 1955 Speedster, congratulations, Lloyd and Ning Nelson. Wow, beautiful car. I'm going to put this away because I won the People's Choice back in 1958 when I started going with my honey wife. <laughs> now, this is just a secondary People's Choice for the car. We appreciate everyone that voted for us. Actually, we're happy we won. <laughs> yes, we are. I'm 76 years old, but I feel 29. I don't feel quite as young as he does, but I have to add, the car is important in the fun we have. I would rather drive in the Porsche any place if I could, because we really do have a good time in that car. We do, yes.